in the kitchen with Joe from Forgotten Fire Winery. Good morning, happy holidays. Good morning, happy holidays to you. I know it's a busy time of year for you guys. Yeah, it's one of our favorite times too. So. Um, it is a wonderful, Joe has a, a business, it's a great winery up in Peshtigo. You can stop and sample some of the wine, but you can buy his wines all over the place. I yeah. was at book signings at several different grocery stores over the weekend, and I kept seeing your wines everywhere <laughs> I went, which is right. really cool. I know you're doing a lot of sampling at we different are stores. Yeah, so yeah, we'll be in a couple festival foods on uh, Saturday throughout the area. Well, maybe we'll run into each other. I'm there so. Sunday, so we'll just miss each other. But <laughs> yeah. um, anyway, Joe has brought in along some of the, the wines that he does. Um, mm -hmm. You do several different varieties, and um, just all sorts of different ones. I know a cran the cranberry wine's great for the holidays. Absolutely, yeah, this one is fun too. This is a uh, cherry and red wine blend. Cherries come from Door County, of course, and you can mull it, you can you just drink it like a cocktail. Um, we're gonna make barbecue sauce with it. Fun, it's called Hot Mess. Hot I, Mess. I love the name. Yeah. How do you come up with the names? Well, there's an inappropriate story that goes with it. Oh, okay, well, it, we'll it, talk it, about that another time. Involved me getting a ride home from the winery. <laughs> 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 Too uh, funny. Okay, yeah. so we're gonna make this barbecue sauce with a little bit of wine, and we're gonna pair it with one of Joe's favorite, um, it's, it actually makes a great hors d'oeuvre, great mm -hmm. entree, it's called Spadini. But let's get the sauce started. Sure. Okay. Well, Let's start with the wine right away. We'll okay. do about a cup. I want to smell that wine. Oh, yeah, it's wonderful. It's a nice light red wine mixed with the uh, cherry wine. Mm, so it's not, you can, you get that hint of cherry, but it's not super sweet, right? Exactly. And it's not oak aged either, so it's not dry. Mm. It's easy to, easy yeah. to drink and easy to do a lot with. This would be great with a steak, you know, or Absolutely. some sort of that prime rib, something like that. Brats. Yeah. Phenomenal brats. brats. Really? Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So we put in the hot mess hot wine. Hot mess, apple cider. A little apple cider vinegar. Yep. yep. A little bit of molasses, just about two good tablespoons. You can use a little bit more than that if you want to thicken it. Okay. And then uh, some brown sugar, okay. about a half cup. And I got to mention that this is uh, created by our cellar manager, Jake Wagner. He uh, is one talented cooking kid. And uh, this is all him, so I, I can't it. take any credit Thanks, for it. Thanks, Jake. We love <laughs> yeah, it. Mustard Dry powder. Mustard. Yep. And then a little garlic powder. Okay. And squeeze about two thirds of a lemon in. Okay. Oh, you, you, you. Yeah, you go for it. I feel really strong if I do. <laughs> and then just a ketchup? And a little ketchup, about a half a cup of ketchup. I can smell it already. It smells delicious. Yep. And you can you can thicken it up, you know, add some wondera or or maybe pull back a little bit on the on the apple cider to make it a little thicker. We like to use this one. We'll chop up uh, brats, put it in there and do it in a crock pot, mm. and then you have this nice hors d'oeuvre for everyone. Um, meatballs too, I would think. Meatballs, yeah. little smokies, uh, the whole yeah. nine yards, yeah. Oh. Yeah, it smells great. Oh my gosh. The alcohol cooks off, so it's it's safe to share with the family. Mm -hmm. um, but the cherry essence comes out, the red wine comes out. Ooh. So it's just, it's really fun. This was uh, great for Packer game days too. Or, you know, you're going to have a whole ton of people over at the house, crock pot full, favorite meat yeah. in it. Yeah. Set to um, go. Let that simmer for about how long? About 20 minutes, because it's, it's a little thin to, right yeah. now. We need to reduce, it reduce it a little bit. Okay. Yep. So now we mentioned that this, after this reduce, reduces, you know, chop up some free cooked brats or smoked sausage or the pre done cocktail meatballs or smokies. Throw this sauce over the, you know, whatever you're doing. Maybe double, triple the recipe for the sauce I would do. Uh, usually, more, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then, you know, get it in a slow cooker. But this is another way to serve this. Um, this is called Spadini, and you might not have heard of it. So walk us through and tell us what it is. Sure. I married a, uh, an Italian girl, so this is a definitely an Italian recipe. Uh, thinly sliced tenderloin. Sirloin will work. Um, fortunately, I have, uh, ni nice and thin because gonna, we're going to roll it. We're going to start with just a little bit of chopped onion. Okay. Ann oh. doesn't like the onion. We'll, we'll, sorry, Ann. We'll do, yeah. we'll do another one for you, another batch for you. But she yeah. did like the chai, by the way. <laughs> this skeptical liked the chai. A little bit of minced garlic. Okay. Yeah. Onion, garlic. Um, Joe has a meat cutter and got that steak really thin. What if you don't have one of those? You know, he has one of those professional meat cutters. What I do is I throw the steak in the in the freezer. Oh. Fifteen minutes or so, and um, then just you know it slices up. Uh, nice and thin for you and we'll use mozzarella maybe a little provolone in strips and then kind of pack it in there and then what we're going to do is just roll it right over thank you ann got to talking we don't want our sauce to boil over it's like rolling a little burrito here and then stretch the meat back over yum a couple toothpicks which yep i just do? saw them around here <laughs> there we go it's like when you're wearing your you glasses, first -timer. you're yeah. looking all over <laughs> for your glasses and you're wearing them. Yeah. Story of my life. Okay. And then we'll egg wash them. And I'll just do it for the sake of doing it right now. Uh-huh. Um, 
just get them a good bath of egg wash. Not, nothing to invest a little much. And then some nice Italian breadcrumbs. And, and then that's, eat. that's the reason we do the egg wash is because it, uh, it sticks. Then the breadcrumbs will stick exactly. to the... And then you bake these off in the oven. Uh, I know you can fry them. You, you can, can fry them in a little bit of oil. Yeah. Yep. Um, uh, broil them is what we like to do, seven, ten minutes on the broiler. And then they're done. And if you set up your toothpicks just right, pull them out, slice them up. And then you got your dipping barbecue They're sauce bite to go with them. Oh. Exactly. And then you've got the, the cheese melts, then you just get this wonderful little melty cheese and the steak and make yep. it. Yep, if you roll it well, it, it's gonna <laughs> it's gonna keep all the cheese in too. Ooh, look at these. Yeah. yeah, the ones I made earlier were a lot prettier than this That's one. That's <laughs> okay, I get it. And you know yeah. what? The thing is is that make a bunch of these, like get mm -hmm. an assembly line going because they will disappear. I've yep. made them a few times before. Lindsay and I made about two, three dozen of them last night in ten minutes. Yeah, you know, it was yeah. Great. It's quick once you get it going. Mm -hmm. Um and oh they yummy with and a little smell bit fantastic. of sauce yeah. on the side. Oh, wow, that looks good. Now, so for people who are interested in, in mm. getting your wines uh, to sure. give as gifts or to have on hand for the holidays, um, how can they find your, your tasting spot? Okay, well, the big one is our Jingle and Mingle Open House is this Saturday Ooh, at the winery. Fun. And we're in Pashtigo, uh Highway uh, 41, exit 216. It's about 45 minutes from Green Bay. Okay. And then if, uh, if you can't make it up this weekend. What uh, time, what are the hours? Oh, for? I'm sorry, 11 to 5. 11 to 5. Yeah, so we're going to have uh, Christmas music, being, uh, live Christmas music. Uh, build your own gift baskets, station, uh, all kinds of fun stuff will be going on. Get to sample all the different wines if you want. Absolutely, yep. We've got a couple on, on sale. We have Home for the Holidays is on sale for $10. It's a sweet Riesling blend, and uh, it's going quick. And we've got some uh, other fun uh, campfire blushes is also on sale for $7, too. Oh, wow. So, yeah, some good prices, and, and uh, we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, all, our, all of our elves are coming out of the woodwork to come help us this weekend, too. So, so that's we'll have a great Saturday, staff. the Jingle yep. and Mingle. Um, if you can't make it up to Peshtigo, look for Joe's Wines. Forgotten Fire Winery Wines um, are at all the festival stores, mm. lots of other lots stores. Lots of stores everywhere lots throughout stores. Green Bay and the Fox Valley. Yep. All right. Well, happy holidays. Thank you. Happy holidays. Thank you. This barbecue sauce is smelling it's so, smell. so, <laughs> so good. <laughs> good. Yum. Yeah. Stick around. Homemade hot cocoa mix and more coming up.